Hello, I am Sri. Welcome to the Ethical Hacker course by CBTU. Module Metasploit Section Armitage Graphical User Interface for Metasploit Armitage is Java-based graphical user interface front-end for the Metasploit framework that visualizes targets and recommends exploits. Stable release was in 2013. Other features being Armitage is free and open source cyber attack management tool. Armitage was originally authored by Raphael Merge and developer Leo Lowe. Raphael Merge also wrote Cobalt Strike software for adversary simulations and red team operations. This is web page for the Armitage, the URL being fastandeasyhacking.com. Let us go to the downloads page. This is the download page. Armitage is available for Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. It is advised to use Armitage on Linux OS for evaluating full features. Windows, download it and install it on Windows OS. Armitage comes by default with Kali Linux. The other features being Armitage interprets Metasploit commands. Armitage is built to take advantage of Metapreter. Metapreter is an advanced agent that makes a lot of post-exploitation functionality available to you. In a moment, we'll be seeing this in demo. Armitage works on top of MSF, Metasploit Framework. It helps security professionals better understand hacking and to help them realize the power of Metasploit. It's an important tool for penetration testers. This is Armitage in Kali Linux. Let us jump into Kali Linux. This is Kali Linux. We have targets Windows XP, Metasploitable Linux, and Windows 7. This is Windows XP with IP address 197. This is Metasploitable Linux, and the IP address is 198. This is Windows 7, and the IP is 199. Okay, let us start Armitage. For Armitage to work, we need to start Metasploit framework first. MSF console. Armitage connects to the local host at 55553 with the username MSF and MSF. If MSF console is not launched, it will prompt the message. Connect. Metasploit server is not running. So let us say yes to start. It's connecting. Don't worry about the connection refused. Java exception. It tries and connects to the database. This is Armitage. The interface has three panels. Modules, targets and tabs. We can resize the panels. This was from previous scan. Let us delete this. Below is MSF console that is launched. We can run the MSF commands here and Armitage interprets MSF commands. Main advantage of Armitage is we can run a module against multiple hosts. We have this host loaded from the previous scan. Let us clear the database. Yes. We can run the nmap scan from Armitage. Let us run intense scan. Our LAN subnet is 192.168.1.0 slash 24. Click OK. At the background, MSF is running these commands, nmap commands. OK, the scan is complete. For every operation, it uses a different tab. Let us run quick scan with OS detect. This is subnet. OK. These are the flags that is applied to the nmap command. This is running in another tab. This was previous scan. nmap scripting engine scanned five hosts. Scan is complete. The next step is find attacks to suggest the applicable exploits for your targets. Okay. Scan is complete. 197 Windows XP. 198 Metasploitable Linux, 
199 windows 7 os so these ports are open in this 445 is also open graphical representation of the host is put here all stacked up okay so 1.1 this is a router we don't need this so this is printer we don't need this 196 is Kali Linux that's our attacking system 197 is Windows XP and 198 is Metasploitable Linux okay on the left side we have the modules auxiliary modules exploit modules payloads post exploitation modules we can search for a module from here it will display all the results containing that keyword so metropeter android apple ios java the categorization of the modules is based on the architecture and the platforms so this is windows metropeter reverse http reverse tcp okay This is table view of all the targets. Graphical view, all stacked up. We can set the exploit rank also to be used from excellent to poor. Excellent is the most popular one and most used one which will have high impact on the target system. And these are the listeners and we can run the scripts. We can view the activity logs and export the data. And we have performed the scan now here. Otherwise we can import the database and manually add the hosts as well. We can run MSF scans. These are the other Nmap scans. This is clearing the database. We can do the DNS enumeration also. We can find attacks for the scanned host or launch Hail Mary attack. This is to unleash Armitage smart automatic exploitation against our targets. Let us find attacks. Return against our targets. Attack menu is attached to each host in the target window. Let us see that. For this 197, right click, attack. These are the attack modules. We can check if the target is vulnerable to these exploits. Let us check. The remote host, our host is set. It's running check. It is checking for all the exploits. This is vulnerable to this MS08067, popular vulnerability. Okay, we are done with the checking. The local host is 196, that is our Kali Linux. And our host is remote host. We can set against the remote host. We are going to exploit this system using this module. The target is vulnerable. So this is login services. Let us see what ports, what services are open on this. This is 139 and 445. This is SMB port. When this port is open, this host can allow remote code execution. We can scan. Armitage is using auxiliary port scanner. 
Okay, we got this ports open. Manually, we can specify the operating system if it is not detected. We can set the label or remove the host. Okay, let us select MS08067 Net API. This is the brief description about this vulnerability. The local host is set. Local host is 196, that is our Kali Linux. Local port is some dynamically generated random port. Remote host is 197. Remote port is 445. And targets. Let us use automatic targeting. We can manually set the target as well if it is not detected. We can use a reverse connection to get the meter potential. These are the advanced options. Okay, let us go with the default options and launch. So exploit is running. We got the meta session. As soon as the remote system is hacked, you see the color is changed to red with sparks holding it. We got the meta session. On this host, you see meta commands are also added. We can perform these operations. We can access, we can interact, we can explore. Let us interact with the command shell. This is the command shell of the remote system. These are the files. This is Windows XP remote system. So we see these files here. We can create a directory. Was created. This is command shell. Let us get meter protection. shell. This is meter protection. In the next session, we are going to see meter protection commands. We can list the contents. These are the contents of the remote directory. Present working directory is the system 32. It has shown all the files. Let us change to C. Let us list the contents. These are the contents of the remote system. We got the hidden files as well. We can switch between the meterpreter and the MSF console using background command. So this is session one and this is running in the background. Okay, this is about uh, the meterpreter. We'll be seeing more about this in the next session. We can browse the files. So, wonderful. We can upload the files to the remote system, create a directory, we can list the drives, we can make a directory, test uh, 100. We can see the processes. Basically, this Armitage interprets the MSF commands under the backend, it runs the Metasploit commands. So, visual is always better. We can take a screenshot. Screenshot will be saved to the local system as a JPEG file. We can dump the hashes. We are dumping the hashes of the SAM database. Every process opens a separate tab. When it is processing a command, we can go to the other tabs and see the progress. The processes not yet shown. This is screenshot we got. Okay. Dumping the hashes. Let us close the command shell. Close. Meterpreter is open. It is outputting here and uh, the main shell as well. It's done. These are the password hashes, the most valuable information of the remote system. Let us close this session. Exit. We already closed it. As we have closed the meterpreter session, the meterpreter menu is also removed from here. Okay, this is about Armitage. You can explore a lot. Lot many features are provided here. This is automatic exploitation against a system. 
let us launch this is a warning that it will flood the system it will flood this operation this modus operandi is not still the it will flood the remote host with hundreds of exploits so anyway it's a demo system let us say yes it's finding exploits let us see the magic it's querying the host it's going to take some time let us cancel this hail mary attack we'll come back to this in another session okay back to our presentation so these steps we have seen armitage will start my exploit if it is not started this is adding an attacking system armitage interface you can start armitage by using armitage command from the terminal this is exploitation flow in armitage scan import host remote exploit escalate privileges dump the hashes explore system and steal data set up a pivoting launch further attacks from that system and follow the same process again installing armitage armitage after scanning the host let us know about cobalt strike it's a tool set for adversary simulations and a team operations it doesn't share code with armitage or depend on metasploit framework armitage and cobalt strike can work together use armitage to fire cobalt strike's bacon payload with a metasploit exploit this is cobalt strike web page this is a commercial product and it costs 3500 per user for a one year license 21 day trial is available to explore this product Rafael Merge is the creator of Armitage and Cobalt Strike as well. You can request for the trial and enjoy the features of this product. In this session we have explored Armitage. In the next session we will be seeing Metapeter commands. Thanks for watching.